Well, guys, welcome to the Valley of the Damned here. Okay, for the Barn Rescue Series, I'm doing this series because uh, I have a lot of lawnmowers in here I'm never going to do anything with. Um, I've come to realize that. I've just got too wrapped up into the fixing and selling thing to... Uh, to uh, do any of that stuff. So, uh, I mean, look at the spots that opened up here. Yeah, it's pretty dirty in here. It is dirty, dirty, dirty. Um, here's one, but this is another one I'm keeping. Uh, if you go back, was it last year? I think it was two years ago, actually. Um, you would have seen this one. Try and get Mr. Tarp off of here. Come on. Um, it's one of these old craftsmen's. Um, I don't know why I got such an affinity for these things. Um, this one is unusual, though. I mean, you've all seen the 18 horses and whatever. In fact, I have one over there under the green tarp. Um, this one... has a 20 horse Onan in it and it runs super I mean but I had to buy a coil for it it had no spark when I got it uh that was not a cheap item believe it or not because it has you know two outlets on it not just a single now I don't know if a guy could have put two singles on there or what but I bought an original Onan a new old stock Onan uh, coil for it although I do think the stator is shot in it because it doesn't charge um, but so this hasn't been running in I guess a couple years I don't know I'd have to go back and look at the videos um, this back tire is flat and I think this one low too. Yeah, that one's low, but it's not completely flat. Um, where did I see? Oh, yeah, you guys can't see it, but I disconnected the gas line down there from the filter and drained all the gas out of it, ran it out of the carb. So it uh, should just be a matter of putting a battery in it, some gas, and do the old trickle down the carburetor till the pump gets her gets her going type thing should be that simple um and as you guys noticed in the other ones the mice the mice the mice have been quite the foe in this series now i'm hoping they haven't got in that shroud because if they did um it's going to take quite a bit of quite a bit of work to get in there to get it out. So uh, I'm really hoping they didn't uh, get into this machine. I did have a trap here. You know, one of my big vertical oh, five-gallon buckets with the with the can on it. Uh, I had a raccoon here. Possibly still do have a raccoon here. And he went nuts with all my traps. So, um, no, I can put that on later. This one, I still got to fix the 18 Briggs for this. I got to get to this. This thing's been sitting here way too long. Um, getting in the dark now. Getting in the dark, I might have to turn on. There we go. Here's the uh, Words Garden Mark. Yeah, this is a little feller. It's got hard rubber tires, so I don't have to worry about them going flat. It's got a four horsepower uh, Briggs. Um, I bought it. It was running. 
I guess I never ran it myself. I believe I drained the gas out and then put some oil in the bottom to keep it from rusting. So I have to give that a go through probably, but maybe we'll just put gas in there with the, I think it's two cycle oil I just dumped in there. So got that. It's a what? Oh, just forward and reverse. Um, kind of a goofy little thing. I think the, what was the engine code? I think it was a, yeah, 66. So, it's a year older than I am. Okay, I'm going to turn the light off for a second. I don't know if we need it over here. So anyway, one of the two is my Onan 20 Horse Craftsman and the little guard mark. Uh, the Murray, actually, I was going to make into, uh, I was going to lower it and make it a uh, really fast little go-kart thing. And I still am. I don't know if anybody's seen these. Everybody knows that Tecumseh Enduros. Everybody pisses all over Tecumseh. And some of it's well-deserved. Um, I've always had good luck with the Enduros. I can't really complain about them too much. This one is a V-Twin. I don't know how many people know that they made a V-Twin Enduro 20 horse. But let me tell you something. This thing has got something from factory that is very unusual, and I can't wait to show you guys, but I'm not going to show you right now. Because I'm going to have you guys vote on which one of these we start. Um, now, this one I'm not selling, of course, so it'd be nice to get some running that I can sell. But um, I can't wait to show you that bizarre deal that goes on with this Tecumseh. It's, uh, it's crazy. So... Um, and it's got a hydro, which is a hydro is shot. I was going to put a, a shift in it, you know, with a separate lever. Look at the ra raccoon tracks. Yeah. Um, here's the Yard King. You guys seen that? Last year, and this is the engine I can use in my Saber. I'm working on a 20 horse that's already out. So, uh, but this one, uh, as you know, runs great, runs super duper, as a matter of fact. So, and there's nothing worth saving on here. I mean, it's, the hydro is good, but it leaks pretty bad. Um, the deck on it is, it is in horrible, horrible shape. Um, there's no deck on it. It's sitting over in that pile there, I think. There's the Murray. Um, needs an engine, I believe. More raccoon tracks on top of it. Um, this yard man I bought for parts. It's got a 18 horse Kohler. And it does run great. I had to use the coil on it for something else. So that's why that's a part. But I, I do have a coil for it now. Um, ooh, raccoon poop. Um... And the Hydro in it is exactly like my Cubs, both my Cubs, one and two. So I got it for that, and the Hydro works perfect. Um, and then we'll come to this. Stuff in my way. Uh, this is a 1974 MTD. The transaxle, which is what? A three? Yeah, three speed. Um, is cast iron. The uh, the engine is a ten horse Briggs uh, horizontal shaft. Uh, I constantly lose spark. It's been sitting here. I was gonna make it uh, electronic. It's been sitting here. Oh, geez. It minimum, I've lived here 
almost 13 years. It's been sitting here, I'll bet, close to 12 years, uh, not running. So the deck did work at the time. And believe it or not, I think, yeah, all the tires are still holding air. I don't know if they're tubed or not. But. So there's that. And yeah, great and stuff all over it. But these are uh, unusual little little guys here. I don't I don't think this one's running. Never had it running. This one did run. Uh, it's got a six horsepower Tecumseh in it. Uh, there's a series of pulleys and belts and everything up here that make the front wheel drive. It's a single front wheel. If you turn it backward, turn the wheel backwards, you'll go backwards. So it's actually a zero turn. Um, it's all pretty heavy duty. Forgot what they call these. Uh, big Mo's. Called Big Mo. So, let's see if I can bag of insulation off of there you know it's pretty rough and the seats falling apart but, um i believe i put oil in the bottom of this gas tank too and then put the plastic on it hoping to keep air out of it i don't know if that worked gas tank was in perfect shape but it's been sitting here whoo uh, oh geez, 10 years, nine, 10 years. Not sure. Long time. Yeah. They're different in the motor right between your legs and everything did work on it. The tires were pretty well cracked on it. I think one thing about this barn, you come in here looking around, you leave all dirty. Really, I should get this thing out of here so I can get the motor out of it and everything else parted out. I think that's about it for uh, the barn rescue series. So, okay. So, there's this Murray. There's the MTD. I didn't show you that. And it only says MTD on it one spot. I didn't show you that. right there oh and then the grill this is all cast aluminum it's all cast aluminum except that i don't think that black piece is come on here. it's got the straight down muffler on it i think it'll clean up nice there isn't a whole lot of rust on it anyway so you got this the murray I need to get the yard man out of here and part it. Um, one of these days I'm going to trip over something in here and crack my head open and die right in here. Okay. Then we got the 20 horse owning. Should be an easy start. Who knows? And then, of course, the garden mark over there. And uh, I still got to build a motor for this one. So um, that's that. So you guys go ahead and vote, you know, just put in the comments, you know, which one you'd like to see going. There's Cub 2. Say hi to Cub 2. Hi, Cub 2. We're going to go mow. I usually don't mow that stuff right there. It just stays. So it's pretty damn long right now. Um, but I got to mow down there and I don't know, all over. And there'll be a uh, third annual mowing of the uh, longest driveway in America, which actually I might put up before this one. So that was a moot point anyway. So go ahead and vote, guys. I'm rambling. Talk to you later. Bye.